Now, cyclin B protein, which is being targeted for degradation, how do you know, how do the body knows that this protein is meant for degradation? Is there any way by which a sticker or a label can be attached is a very important question. Ubiquinated lysine residues. Lysine is an amino acid to which ubiquitin attaches. So when ubiquitin attaches to the lysine, then uh, it can attach to the lysine residues or uh, it can also attach to the um, uh, extended carboxyl terminus of the glycine. So those ubiquinated amino acids are the label to know, for the body to know that a protein is meant for destruction is what you need to understand. A previously healthy 16 year old girl, whenever she takes milk, there is an increased amount of the hydrogen concentration in the expired A. So what is the problem with her? It is a classical case of lactase deficiency which occur in few people. A married couple screened for gotchas. Gotcha is an example of an autosomal receive disorder. Don't get confused with this 45%, 55%. That shows that both of them are carriers. And uh, the couple had a child. What is the probability that this child can have one or more of those arrays? So you should remember that if both parents are carriers, only 25% of chance is there that the patient is free from the aliens. 25% he will become homozygous for both the abnormal alleles and shows the gotcha. In half of the cases he will be heterozygous and he will be a carrier. So a carrier is having the abnormal gotcha gene. A diseased 25% also have an abnormal gene. So 50% carriers and 25% diseased will make 75% having that abnormal gene. When two carriers happen to marry is what you have to basically remember. That means 75% will have abnormal gene. 25% will be free from any of the abnormal gene whenever the two uh, carriers happen to marry is what you have to basically understand. Now, where are the locations where acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter? Typically, the preganglionic fibers which terminate in the adrenal medulla, they are basically acetylcholine producing. And the both parasympathetic and sympathetic autonomic ganglia and the postganglionic fibers of the parasympathetic division in these three locations, acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter. So, summarize once more the preganglionic fibers terminating in adrenal medulla and both sympathetic, parasympathetic, autonomic ganglia and the postganglionic fibers of uh, parasympathetic division like vagus. Vagus is a parasympathetic uh, cranial nerve. So, the postganglionic fibers of the vagus will typically have acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter is what you have to basically remember. During a normal screening of the phenylcotinuria, a male newborn is having a phenylalanine of only 35. So, for the phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme, what is the important coenzyme? It is the biopterin which is considered to be the important coenzyme for the phenylalanine hydroxylase is what you need to remember. A six-year-old has got mental retardation and showing these clinical features. He is doing self-mutilation. He is biting his own nose. He is eating his own lips. And uh, typically his uric acid levels are high. So self Mutilation plus hyperuricemia. What comes to your mind when you look at these two? Typically, it is a case of Blaskinihan syndrome, which is decreased hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase, a GPRT deficiency, is what you need to know. 
14 year old, dislocated lens, hyperdynamic precordium, and there is a mitral valve prolapse, classical case of Marfan. Typically, Marfan has a deficiency of fibrillin 1, is what you have to remember. The native collagen typically contains predominantly triple helix, is what you have to remember. A 45 year old, there are recommences in the left orbital and periorbital area along with the proptosis. And a microbiological examination is showing typically the branching hyphae, which are broad based, typically are of rhizopus or rhizae, is what you need to remember. 21 year old, he has got petechial lesions in the upper and lower extremities. He has got a resistance for the neck flexion, Brudzinski, Koenig sign, etc. And CSF is showing gram negative diplococci, which are classically the meningococci, is what need to be remembered. So, uh, negative diplococci with a neutrophil is typical of Nisseria uh, meningitis.